don't need a high-end designer or a lot of money to get a luxe look. Be your own interior designer. This is Affordable Interior Design, the podcast. Here's your host, Betsy Hellman. My next question comes from Charlotte, North Carolina from Griffin. And Griffin writes, Betsy, I'm thinking about tiling half of the wall behind the vanity in my master bathroom. Any considerations for the tile? I am thinking color. Well, Griffin, I really appreciate it that you included pictures. It's very helpful and I can see exactly what we're working with. And guys, if you want to see what Griffin's working with, head over to the YouTube channel. You can get all the access at affordableinteriordesign.com slash links. Once again, that's affordableinteriordesign.com slash links. All right, here I am, Griffin, looking at your pictures. I imagine the first picture is of your actual bathroom with the mint colored walls, with the double sinks, with the two mirrors and the white shower. And it looks like white subway tile in the shower surround. Yes, I think this bathroom could benefit from a little bit of pizzazz. I think the idea of putting tile on the walls is a good one. Now, I wouldn't go all the way up the walls in this particular bathroom because you do have a lot of wall space. I don't mind fully tiling a bathroom from ceiling to floor when you have a smaller space. But sometimes when you put tile all over a relatively large bathroom, it can feel oppressive. It can feel like you didn't make a choice. And also when it goes all the way up, there's no opportunities for artwork. Additionally, if you want to drill in a towel bar, its holes uh, will remain in tile, whereas in sheetrock, you can patch them. So you're really kind of limiting yourself when you tile all the walls. Okay, let's keep it moving and talk about tiling only partially up a wall. So when you're designing a bathroom, you typically go between 34 inches and 54 inches high with that tile. The average is 36 inches high for wall tile in a bathroom. Now, in this case, you do have that mint colored wall. And green is not my favorite color in a bathroom because it casts sort of a sickly pallor on your skin. If you're doing makeup in here, if you're looking at yourself naked, if you're exposing a lot of skin, well, you may not look your best in a green bathroom. In my opinion, I would paint these walls a neutral color if it is the primary bath. And then I think you could certainly incorporate color with that tile. You included an inspiration picture that had this beautiful, it looks like hand glazed, elongated, rectilinear, olive green tile. And it is really fetching, especially with that stark white um, grout that really offsets it and brings it to life and ties in with the white vanity countertop. Uh, I think this tile is beautiful. I think as long as you change your paint color, this olive green could be really nice because it's not going to go all the way up. So it's not going to cast a really significant pallor because from your tummy up, right, the walls will be a different color that will ideally be neutral so that you can do your makeup or comb your hair, just look at yourself and get a really true view of what you're working with. So I give you the green light to go bold with this tile, especially because everything else in your bathroom is pretty neutral. You have a very light colored floor. It might be cream or it might be white. And then I mentioned the subway tile. I mentioned the white shower curtain and the sinks, the porcelain pedestal sinks and the toilet are all stark white. So the last thing I would want to add in here is more white, because as we can even see from your picture, white on white on white means that nothing really looks white. The subway tile looks a little bit creamy. The shower curtain leans a little bit ivory. The toilet is a bright, crisp white. All of these things may technically have been white on their label, but when they're all put side by side by side, they don't exactly match, which means that they all look just a little bit off, which is why I try not to do much white on white on white on white, whether I'm designing a kitchen renovation or in this case, a bathroom renovation. A big thank you to our amazing producer, Catherine Heller. 
to Aton and the MBCR House Band, and to Affordable Interior Design, the sponsor of this podcast and the premier place to get an amazing look on a budget. Check out affordableinteriordesign.com. If you guys love the show, the very best way to support us is by spreading the word. Tell your friends or write us an awesome review on iTunes. So until next week, guys, thanks so much for joining us, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.